Uh, it's still hot next week. If it rained today, the rain would dry out before it It would dry surface. before it lands. It's not raining, it's drying. Like, people ain't deep in it. The icon is red. Red! It's not supposed to be red. The weather app is stressed, bro. Do you <laughs> understand? You lot, I, the people at home, better flipping appreciate the fact that we are recording in this day and age. In this heat. You're right, Neymar. Yeah, it's on the end. I actually do need a trim. I'm getting a trim on Sunday. Cat. I'm getting a one down the back, but not the sides. On the top, split down the middle, magenta on the left. Huh? Maybe a little bit of cyan down the right hand side. No, 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 no. Does something make you lose it? <laughs> <laughs> right, let me say my intro. My intro. Boom. There we go. Are you are you sick? Yo guys, it is your boy Niran here, and welcome one and all once again. It is that time of the I was about to say the month, but realistically it's the year because this series is not monthly. See, do you know what happened? Yeah, why you flopped the intros because it's too hot. As we're recording this, you lot, it is 31 degrees. No, UK heat is different. Because why am I why am I dizzy? Yeah, we're back once again for unpopular opinions where I ask you guys to tweet me your most mad hot takes possible. You can follow our Twitters down in the description below if you want to take part next time. But as I said, as I always am, I'm joined by the main man himself getting punched up and spun about by pollen. It is gem. It was very unnecessary. This man has been KO'd by the hay fever. <laughs> Third round knockout. Yeah, it's got me in a jujitsu headlock right now. In more time, you just might like it just might be a gulag thing today. Everyone might just get the gulag. And there's no hay fever tablets in the gulag as well. And all the cells have pollen in them. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> that is where anybody goes who has a criminally, criminally bad take. No return ticket. You're getting a single on a train. You're not even getting the train. We'll send you on like South London tram without a ticket as well. So you'll get a fine on the way. Like, subscribe, share, email. Share this video on MSN right now. Outlook email it to your boss and no caption. You don't even write regards at the bottom. You just send it. Adiemi will outscore Haaland in which planet? Do you like <laughs> Like. You know what, though? No, as my guy, as an avid Adeyemi supporter, I don't hear it. Now you're in the gulag. Yeah, yeah, you're no, you're done. You're done. Now you're finished. I was going to give you a character reference to try and get you out, but you're done. This one here's, this one here's a discussion, yeah? Brighton will get top four if they sign a competent striker. I like how we had to input that word there because Neil, Neil Mapai is not... Not competent. <laughs> They're going to have to do serious FM scouting. So, so, so hire me, of Brighton. No, no, hire no, me. no. This man would move like that League Who manager that got sacked for bidding for Messi. Nah, I mean, look, listen, you, you gotta shoot your shot in it. No, you don't. You're Brighton. You would bid for Haaland. City might be willing to loan him out. They've got options up top. Who? Alvarez. He scored six goals in one game in South America. Do you know how mad it is taking two Patrick balls home? <laughs> The referee had to go to the ball boy and ask for another football to give to you at the end of the game. He had to stop at JD Sports on the way home and buy you another football. This, let's, let's break down. This is what Darren would do, right? He would inquire interest in Haaland, get the media <clears> speculating. Add him to top transfer targets just to unsettle him a little bit. At that point, you get sacked, but they would ask you for like 150 million. This is what Nero would do. Nero would walk in the office, see a safe and see money in there. Be like, oh, yeah, that would do. Yeah, don't mind if I do, actually. Yeah, knowing that it's the boss's savings or something like that. But anyway. It's like his fund for like his daughter to go to university or something. Yeah, yeah, that would like... do. He would do a swap deal, right? This is what, I know him. He would do a swap deal. He would send Trossard there. He would send Neil Mopai there. I'll cancel the Basuma deal and he'll, and even after the deal done i will sign him back just to use him in the negotiation <laughs> what is it choo choo rail or kuku rail or whatever his name is pet wants him D see this is what i'm saying bro i'm making linkages in my head the jigsaw puzzles are starting to move into place i've got something that you want kuku all right hugh wizzy from the kickoff yeah i will give him to you if we could get what we need aka a striker for just just a straight swap deal okay I, I think they're equal level footballers so i beg your pardon and then and then the wages how would you pay his wages bro, I'm paying his wages on Klarna. I don't even care, fam. I, honestly, I would actually be terrible at running a football club. If, we, if we're going to actually break it down. You know what it is? I, I wouldn't even make the club go bankrupt like normally. It would be like outrageously bankrupt. <laughs> like, H <laughs> like HMRC would come to the club and be like, fam, what the fuck were you doing? We can't even put you into liquidation, fam. We just have to delete the club. We'll put you on like an educational course or something. <laughs> This can't run. Nalib and Nimile says Maguire is England's best centre-back. Who? 
Sorry? I would say Gurhi, but then he conceded four. Was he even on the... I didn't even watch that game, I'll be totally honest. But I know I he watch started. It. We was doing Waffonomics that game. We were, yeah. Do you, do you think I'm watching Nations League? <laughs> I don't care. The players don't care. Imagine one year they were like, the Community Shield's going to have a group stage. Nobody cares, bro. No. Why is Jay Spearing trending on Twitter, by the way? What's I going saw on? it. Let me check. Liverpool <laughs> are close to re-signing 33-year-old Jay Spearing to play for our under-23s. What? That is... So that's a gulag offense. Liverpool are in the gulag. He's 10 years older. He's certain people's uncle here when he's playing <laughs> in under 23. That's your football club. If it was me personally, I would send a letter of complaint in it. I'm not oh. having this. I'm writing a strongly worded email, bro. I traveled there. Not, not today, not in the seat, but. I'm spearing somebody at Liverpool for that because that's outrageous. Do you think, do you think you're funny? Like, what? Do you, do you think you got your Netflix special? Funny Nights with Niran. Azari AFC says, Enketia will outscore both Haaland and Nunes. I don't know. Oh, I just, I just had enough. I just don't understand. It's just gay. It's just gulag. It just is. 100k <laughs> a week for Edward Nketia is absolutely unacceptable. Pombo FM says, yeah, Niren is actually third choice wing back for us, bro. <laughs> Man said third choice. I oh. know, but man gave me the promotion because I used to be fourth choice. I'm making my way up the ranks, bro. The third choice right back just went out on loan. One little injury crisis and I'm dead. This guy is playing in the energy drink cup. That's crazy. <laughs> nah. The nah, St. Nah. Johnston's paint <laughs> Papa John's fucking Microsoft Excel trophy. I'm going to be playing against Jay Spearing in the under 23s. <laughs> If John Joe Shelby, so this is already starting badly. If John Joe Shelby had had better managers and had the backing of them, then he would have easily become one of the best Premier League midfielders of all time. <laughs> I hear it. No, because every year you get your yearly John Joe Shelby 35 yard hadoosh into the back of the net. Yeah, for no reason as well. <coughs> Swansea days. Listen, under Michael Loudrup. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot he was even about. Listen, Swansea John Joe Shelby was a secretive player the streets won't forget player. Won't forget. But I forgot equally. So like, if we're going to be on it, maybe he's not. But I've got one here, right? This is fitting, okay? We have to do what his name implies but this is coming from gulag underscore inmate 20 all right so, so i don't know what's going on here <laughs> Someone's managed to get onto the internet within our own gulag facility, bro. That's crazy. We need to have a meeting. We've got to get down there. One of the inmates is taking us for a fool. Someone, someone snuck in a phone. We need to. We someone's need to have got words. the burner out. Someone's yeah. got the Nokia in. <laughs> Don't that can't run. I, it's, I love how it's gulag inmate twenty as well, as if there's nineteen previous gulag <laughs> inmates that have also made it onto Twitter. You need to come to court. Whoever that is. That's mad as well because there's no broadband in the gulag. So he's using e mobile service at maximum. This tweet took 45 minutes to send. But he said from his cell, Oxley Chamberlain would be one of the best midfielders in the world had he not torn his ACL versus Roma in 2018. The fact that he's identified the year and game. Oh, by the way, just wanted to break your heart. Uh, Sadio Mane is going to Liverpool. Uh, to Bayern Munich, just got confirmed. Yeah, say goodbye. <sighs> Oh, by the way, gulag in, mate. You're going back in the gulag, just to let you know. We're transferring you to a second cell. It's for special, special facilities. No floor. <laughs> just concrete. Double pollen. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know when players are jogging? Someone tell me why they do this shit. They always have their thumbs up. Why? I'm convinced, <coughs> honestly, I'm convinced footballers just do things because other footballers do it. There's certain dons, right, that run onto the pitch in the Premier League, right, and they're tapping the ground and then kissing the... Why is Aaron Cresswell doing that? Chris Wood <laughs> has no place doing cupping his, cupping his hands to the sky. It's impossible. <laughs> Brighton's corner taker is putting his hands up before he takes the corner. You've not trained set pieces. You don't know what that means. I'm just like, nobody knows what this sign means like you didn't put a finger down you didn't put an extra finger up like you got the same gesture what does it man said jack Grealish's price tag would be 500 fifa <laughs> points if he <laughs> Just that 500 FIFA points is rude. <laughs> that is outrageously rude. And it's not even a good amount of FIFA. <laughs> That's not even a pack open in fam. Somebody said it, innit? Not me. Hey Jack, if you're watching it, it weren't us in it. We do not condone this behavior. Yeah, we don't even condone FIFA points, you know what I'm saying? Toe McDouble. You know, the name can, yeah, can get you in a court hearing for Gulag. Aston Villa are secretly building a top team and will secure Europa League this season. I hear it because if West Ham and Leicester do not strengthen, I hear it. And they're just doing their business early as well. I like it when a club does that. It shows like they were actually thinking about yeah, stuff yeah, before. Yeah. They knew they wanted 
supposed to do this in like March and they were like, it's calm. We'll just wait till the end of the season and then we're going straight in. We've got our targets laid down. They're in the spreadsheet. They're there. We've met up with their parents <laughs> and discussed personal terms. We're not on PK vibes. No, no, not like that. No, <laughs> just to clarify. Yeah, we, we will not talk about that one there. But Shakira, if you are watching. You know what I'm saying? If you need like a shoulder to cry on. Uh, listen, don't worry about my bank account either. You know? no, I'm, up, I'm up there with them. Yeah, don't look at my current account. Uh, yeah. I swear there's a savings account. PK will have multiple shapeshifter cards for all the positions he did with Gavi's mum. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I've left. I'm, I'm, I'm not near my, I'm not near my computer. I'm, I'm not there. involved. I would like to clear my name. Gavi, I'm not involved. Uh, to be fair, I saw his mum. I, I'm not saying Bro, anything. No, you're no, you're participating now. All I'm saying is, I saw her. Why are you stuttering? Continue, continue the sentence. Go ahead. You, you saw his mum and and what? I, I'm sure she's a nice lady. I'm like sure she is. Anthony Martial will outscore Kylian Mbappe next season. Huh? No joke. I'm being serious. Huh? Does does Martial even have a football club? This is what I'm saying. I don't even think Martial knows what club he's gonna <laughs> be at next season. We we don't know what league he's even gonna be in. Joao Matip is top five best Premier League centre-backs ever. Okay, that is waffle. I'm gonna be honest. But <laughs> he is better than he is better than people give him credit for. So let's not say ever, yeah? In the last decade, I hear it. Yeah, because in the last decade doesn't include people like Terry and Ferdinand and stuff. They, let's, like, they let's, just let's say left. that doesn't include them because I was right at the end. Because we're not saying he is. We're saying he's one of. You're looking at, I guess, the people like Van Dijk and company and, and yeah. stuff as like the, the main, main, main elite ones or whatever. That was it, really. I'm, I'm definitely forgetting people. Like, who were Chelsea centre-backs? David Louise was. You know what? Thinking about it, there's not actually been that many like elite centre backs. In this the is what I'm saying. Because even the ones company usually had to put up with was shit. Like, do you remember Di Michaelis? We almost won the league that time with Sacco and Skirtle, bro. <laughs> are you crazy? Mamadou dude Sacco had like three knee joints. Maybe we could finish it off with this football club here. Shout out to these lot. The main dons themselves. The main dons themselves. If you want to send us t-shirts, by the way, we don't. We're not going to say no. We're not going to say no. They just said he's upgrading. Full stop. With Ronaldo in their kit. I hear it. Yeah, go. Now tell me how you hear it. Because I'd like to see the wave structure and yeah, go on. If Ronaldo signs for this Estonian club that I can't pronounce. I can't right? pronounce either. We're sorry. If I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be open and honest with you, I can't. He doesn't have to play football anymore with Scott McTominay. <laughs> that has to be an upgrade. Who announced that they were leaving a club? Oh, it was Nemanja Matic, and I, it, we don't care. He announced it. I'm like, bro, we do not give a heck. We don't care. The fact that Juan Mata is not 47 years old baffled me. Yeah, that's it then, isn't it? Are we putting it in the book? That's I'd, another chapter. That's Close. another... What episode is this? Uh, I couldn't tell you, honestly. I know we're into we're well into double figures, but I don't know what episode. This is this is your series, and man don't know what episode number it is. So you see the unprofessionalism. Everybody, uh, we said it at the start, but like, subscribe, share with your boss via emails, all of that good stuff. Subscribe to Gem, man. Come on. Come on. Down in the description, we do a series called Waffle Nomics over there. We basically just do this and just chat shit, but more frequently. So go over there, give that some love, show that some love. Gem, are there any final words that you would like to say to the general public? I need to blow my nose.